We're back now with Dennis Rodman, who's been in the headlines recently after the summit between President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. He's been pushing for a meeting like this to happen for years. Some might have thought he was crazy, but now things are looking very different. So you've made clear that President Obama, you tried to reach out to him and he was like, talk to the hand. Um, you've been pushing for a better relationship with North Korea for all these years. So how does it happen? How does it happen that you go from being arrested 70 times in your life to international diplomat? I have no clue. <clears throat> I have no clue. I mean, of all people, me, all people, this guy, you know, so, you know, but uh, it, I was just very, it's very, very, I'm very fortunate in the fact that, damn, I'm in that position to do that. And <clears throat> people didn't take me seriously in the beginning because I, I didn't try to go over to, uh, to create, um, like, you know, this whole, like, bond with North Korea because, you know, for, for my own personal benefits. I just went over because I wanted to connect North Korea with sports in America. Mm -hmm. That was my whole purpose. And then when I went over there to <clears throat> break a game over to North Korea, and um, <clears throat> and uh, when I sang the birthday song to him, people looked at me like I was crazy. People called you a traitor? Like, I was a traitor. And I'm like, what, what, why did you do that? Da, 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 this stuff like that. And I made some comments. And when I came back, oh, wow, that, was, that was insane. When but I let came, me ask you about that, because this is, you know, people don't, People live their lives over here and don't necessarily pay that much attention to what Kim Jong-un has been accused of. But here's just a few highlights, right? The, according to the Institute, Institute for National Security Strategy, in his first six years as leader, he ordered the executions of at least 340 people. In 2016, Kim Jong-jin, the deputy premier for education, was killed in front of a firing squad after showing disrespectful posture in a meeting. Hyun Young Chol, a general, fell asleep at a meeting. He was executed with an anti-aircraft gun. This is the New York Times reporting all of this. Kim Jong Nam, Kim Jong Un's estranged brother, was killed by chemical weapons, which was caught on tape with these two women putting their, their hands on his face. They say Kim Jong Un is guilty of extermination, murder, enslavement, torture, rape, forced abortions, knowingly causing prolonged starvation, and so on. All according to a 2014 UN report on North Korea. So, for some context, that's the guy you're calling a great guy. Are you done? <laughs> Are, you done? <laughs> Are you done? I mean, how does that no. sit with you, Dennis? How does that sit with you? Like I said, I was blind when I went over at the first time. I know nothing about that. I knew nothing about that. And till this day, till this day, I still don't know anything about that. Because, well, you know, because I just told you. I mean, you, but, you knew well, before you went over there. But, you know, I just want to, you know, try to, to invade the people that I was, that wasn't my job to go over there and try to figure out all that. That was my, not my job. My job is to try to, to bring sports, to try to help the communication. Well, you opening. know when you call him a great guy. Well, to, to, to me. To well, me. I, 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 mean, say, I, I just say to the world. How is that different say from world. saying Hitler's always been very nice to me? Well, okay, but like I said, you're not going to back me into a corner. Because guess what? Because I've done that. I've, I've took my lumps. And I'm not going to take them anymore because the fact of it, I'm not saying, I'm saying that this guy is a great guy. I'm saying he was good to me. And especially the fact that, and all those things that you said right there, right there, I have no, have no clue, but I'm saying that I've never seen that. No one's ever seen that. No one's ever seen it on TV. It's all by hearsay. Well, come on, Dennis. But, 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 but I'm saying, First but of all, all, we did see the brother get the attack well, on I'm, TV. I'm, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. But even, do you deny, do, do you not believe those things? I, I have no clue. I have no clue. You do have a clue. No, I, I do not. You don't have believe no the United Nations. You no. don't believe the, the National Intelligence Service, which, which gave us that first report. But you know, know what I believe in? Seriously, you know what I believe in? Who in a right damn mind would even imagine, pay attention, imagine in Singapore they'd be shaking hands and he did all that. Who in the hell would imagine that? You tell me that. Explain that to me, man. Who would imagine, who would imagine him being Donald Trump said one thing. This is what he said. Before anything happened, he said, you know how he talks. You know, all the stuff like they said, you can tell by in five seconds the fact that if you like a person, and he's about, I'm going to tell in one minute if I like him or not. Remember you said that? Mm -hmm. It took him six hours to figure that out, didn't he? And they come back out and say, oh, man, this guy's going to get along very well. Oh, boy. He said it. He said, no, he said it. It's the same thing I'm saying because right now. Because of all those things, though, that right, I just but I'm saying, Our president, guess what, believes in the fact that he was saying this in the 90s about North Korea. He was saying, why are we doing certain things in the 90s? Mm -hmm. But now he's coming back right now and saying, guess what, though? He's going to give an effort 
this ship, is this really real? Your point is we want to avoid nuclear war with this country. Absolutely. And it may require us to overlook certain human rights, rights abuses. That's the argument that people who want to see this summit happened made. Others felt you don't put the president of the United States on the stage with a man like Kim Jong-un. All right, there's much more to discuss, including the promise Kim Jong-un made to Dennis. Don't go away. And we're back now with Dennis Rodman. Uh, so I want to ask you about the summit that happened. Did, did you have any role in setting that up? No, not really. Not on either <laughs> end? No, not, not really. Um, okay. It just happened. It just happened. And uh, Did you speak with the Trump White House at all prior to it? No. Did you I speak with him after? I didn't speak to anybody. <clears throat> did you speak with Kim Jong-un at all prior to it? Nothing. Nothing. So, I, just, I just went pretty much when I heard the summit was actually happening in Singapore, my sponsor, Popcorn, um, said, Dennis, you want to go? <clears throat> and uh, I said, yep, I want to go. And so he booked a ticket. But it's funny about Popcorn, you know, before when Trump said the, the summit was off, mm -hmm. my, my, my uh, sponsor in, in Canada, they offered to pay for Kim Jong-un's, his whole regime to go to Singapore. They offered to pay the whole, the whole thing, the private planes, everything. He's got so enough money to fund that trip himself, does he not? It wasn't about that. Okay. Well, listen, so, so the, the summit happens. You go to Singapore because you just wanted to be there. I want to be there. But is it true that Sarah Huckabee Sanders called you after the summit took place? Roll the tape. Because <laughs> <laughs> he filmed it. He filmed I, I, it. I filmed it. Yeah. So that, it was just like more like, wow. I just wanted to see it because I... I worked my ass up just to, just to get the door open. Were you surprised to hear from her? I thought she was going to tell me, Dennis, leave. Leave Singapore? Uh-huh. Did you know who she was? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue who this girl was. But Have you <laughs> so obviously I didn't know who she was because I kept calling her honey. Right. <laughs> so, 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 so I'm like, okay, honey, what's up? So she, so, said, she said the president was grateful? He's very grateful, yeah. And, uh, and then have you spoken with anybody from the White House since then? No, I'm pretty sure I will be. Think you're pretty going sure. to the White House? I should. I've been there five times. But do you, do you have reason to believe they're going to invite you? I hope you will. You hope? Absolutely. How about Kim Jong-un? Have you spoken with him or his representatives since the summit? Well, I'll be, I'll be going back to North Korea pretty soon. Hopefully that the ban be lifted. We'll be going back and uh, I, I will be seeing him. Did they call you at all? Have you spoken with anybody there? No, we just spoke to people here in New York. <clears throat> Some of the diplomats said they're very gracious, gracious the fact that I'm actually staying, uh, staying humble about the whole situation. They're, they're very pleased the fact that I've been true to my word, that I will never try to bash them or never try to show them any dislike of what the, the country's about. So I figured that, you know, uh, in good faith to them, and they showed me good faith. And uh, that's the way I stand with that, you know. When you when you want to speak to Kim Jong Un, like, can you text to him? Text him? Do you have his like <laughs> cell phone number? Text him. I don't know. <laughs> How do you contact him? <laughs> How do I contact him? Uh, well, you know, we, we go to the New York office here, and then they want they ask for us, and we talk to them. You know, he's got people. It. Yeah, people. So he's tight with you. He made you a promise at one point. Yeah. yeah. What was it? You know, he he, he felt so so. Um, Loved the fact that when I gave him that basketball game, and he and he asked me, "Hey Dennis, you know, no one's ever done something like this for my country, especially from out of your out of their heart. Everyone want, wanted something from us." And he said, "For you, you know, I promise you one thing: no matter where you at in the world, no matter where you at, we we'll, we love you. We'll make sure you're okay." And no, he said, "We have never said it." You think that's before. sweet? Right. I feel like that's a threat. It's to exempt you from nuclear war. I mean, is that what does that mean? I'm going to blow your country to smithereens, but you you stay in New Jersey. <laughs> no, no, but it, but, it, but it's so funny the fact that um, it's so, so funny the fact that when when they said that North Korea shot a missile over Guam, and for some reason the people in, the people in Guam called my office and said, you know, could Dennis come over to Guam? Oh my God! <laughs> come on. This is, this, is, this is a true story. My, my guys will tell you out there. And I said, okay, great. We flew to Guam. And when I got off the plane, people were like, oh, my God, thank you, thank you. We're safe, we're safe. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm like, it's so, I was like, whoa. All right, we got to talk about what life has been like, because you, you have taken a lot of heat for oh, this yeah. friendship. Oh, yeah. um, and we got to talk about what life has been like for you since that summit when we come right back.
Well, we've been speaking with Dennis Rodman for nearly the entire show about his relationship with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. Can I ask you one other question on the human rights abuses? Only you know, one. Well, one I, I mean, I, one more question. Sir, because I think of Otto okay. Warmbier's family and uh, and what happened to him over there. He he pulled down a poster and basically got got sentenced to death. Essentially, that's how it wound up for him. If he's such a good friend of yours, can't you speak to him about the human rights, rights abuses? Can't you say, you, these things have happened. Can you make them stop? If, if you just inherited this regime, can't you do better? <clears throat> I just think that, you know, that's not my job, job title, because if I went that direction, I think he would, he would lose faith in me as far as being, just for as being a friend. I think that's, that's what he wants you more than anything. You keep it purely I, social. I try, to, I try to keep it social like that because... Those things are for the White House, for people that's actually that's experts at that. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't I can't go to be a um, a diplomat and uh, and this and da da da. da. I can be all these. You're in another lane. I'm in another lane. What what? I wonder how life has changed for you it's since changed a lot. since the summit. It's and changed and a lot. I think about Dennis, you not having your dad. Oh yeah. What about it? And what? What do you think he'd think about <laughs> what what you've done and who you are today? Okay, what do you think about it? I think the fact that, you know, he has 29 kids, 17 wives. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you, can, you got your phones out there, right? You got your phones. Go, Google it. His name is Philander Rodman. Philander. <laughs> Philander Rodman. Philander so Rodman. look it up. Okay, I'm the first one. You, know, you don't care what your dad thinks one way or the other. Well, you know, I don't hate the guy. I don't hate the guy. So. Um, but how do you feel? I mean, your kids must look at you now and say, wow. Oh, they look at me like with their heads up high. Before, it's like, well, your dad's a <laughs> Your dad's this, your dad's that. We're going to bleep that, that, too. And so that's what we bleep that. So, but now, they're, they're, they're cool kids. My, my son is uh, 17. Uh, my daughter's 16. She's going to try for the uh, World Cup uh, this awesome. summer. And what so, are you doing these days? Oh, man, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I do stuff like this. You know, Nick Kardashian, he's doing with uh, Sylvester Stallone, his thing. I'm doing with him. I got a um, partner up with uh, uh, a company called uh, Any Tickets. Tickets. Any tickets? Any tickets. Com. Is that what's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Yeah. 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 You got to go. This is it. Okay. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> Come on down. I like this. I like this. You got the, the first ever ball of me, Kim Jong Un, and Donald Trump. Oh. Oh. No way. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. <laughs> what does it say? Peace, love, not war. Dennis, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. today fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives